welcome to today's video. If you're watching Lily DIYs and Tries, and today I'm going to show you how I made the Easter baskets for my godkids and my nephew. If you want to see how I did that and had a little bit of a cricket disaster, stay tuned, keep watching. Let's do it. Okay, guys, so we've all seen these Easter baskets. This is Pinterest that I'm just looking at, where you customize it, you put the kid's name on it. Some of them are embroidered, some of them are heat prints for vinyl. In my case, I decided that I was going to give it a try and do a heat transfer vinyl. So, found the rabbits on Canva, and I cut, I downloaded it from there. And I also did the names on Canva. I just find Canva is so much easier for me to work with in Cricut Design Space. I look at my little machine go to work. And by the way, shout out to my best friend because she gave me that Cricut <laughs> as a birthday present last year. And I'm so thankful. So here I am just trying to weed out the pieces that we don't need. If you've ever used Cricut, you know this tedious process. Especially because I chose a very like delicate letter. As you can see, it's taking me a minute, but my problem was that the adhesive to the vinyl material was stronger than the actual, like, Cricut pad that I used to make it. So I only have in 12 by 12 the light strength grip. For this, I really needed, like, the strong grip to, like, hold that baby down, but that wasn't the case. You can even see I'm all frame, like, struggling. But I got it, I got all the names done, and you'll see why one of the names is different when I show you the baskets. And you'll see also why only three bunnies were needed. And the dreaded pink bunny. Girls, guys, this bunny gave me trouble and I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> Look at my dad, such a mess. All done. So this is my second attempt. I tried the pink bunny first and it was a flop. I learned a few things and here I go with the purple bunny. So with this particular vinyl, like it said that I needed to hold it down a certain amount of pressure for a certain amount of time. Well, it's really hard for me to figure out that pressure, especially when my little iron is so little. So like I can't get that even coverage on the whole thing. So it was a little bit of a trial and error, a little bit of playing around with it. But we did it. <laughs> I was so happy that there was like no wrinkles because what happened with the pink bunny was there was a wrinkle in two spots. And I couldn't fix it so I had to figure out how to fix it but what I did was like I put it to a side and went on to do some successes and then <laughs> so actually I lied this is the last basket I had to do because I'm going to show you all the other baskets they're so cute these baskets are from Dollar Tree if I didn't say so already I think I did but they're all from Dollar Tree but they were like the last picking so that's why my nephew got a different um, basket than the other guys, but here I am trying to remove the pink bunny. After googling on YouTube, I found that the heat method was the best to remove my mistakes. So as you can see, I have the bag wrapped around the iron and I used that to, I guess, melt the glue. I don't know the science. I don't know the science, but it worked. To wrestle with it a little bit as you can see especially because the bag is an awkward size the iron is awkward so if you do try this I just be really careful I was just of course it's the morning of our Easter celebration I'm like rushing because of course I left it to the morning of Easter celebration that's what you do no no that's not what you do but if you do run into this problem I think this technique was was pretty solid especially for the type of vinyl I was using. I ordered a variety pack of vinyl 
through Amazon. It was like the best deal I could find. I'm like new at this and a newbie, so I don't want to spend tons of money on Cricut brand material. And that's like the thing, you know what I'm saying? I was just making sure like the residue wasn't like clogging up, like my tweezers wasn't messing with the grip. I gotta adjust it one more time, I think. I think we're gonna get it at this point. Let's see. I'm so impatient. Like, it needed to sit on there for a second before I started pulling, but I would just like immediately start pulling, and it's just a waste of time. So, if I did were to do this again in the future, you see how this other side's coming up much easier because it has better contact with the iron. I'm giving it time. That's what I would tell myself. Just be patient. Give it time. But y'all, I ain't patient. Nope. Last piece. And <laughs> so you can see how I'm like with the death grip trying to get that heat, the contact on that, on that canvas to make it work. And it does. You guys, look at this. Boom. Like it never happened. Who has to know? So what I didn't show you guys, we got a slight glimpse of it a second ago. Was on the other side, these baskets came with the 3D bunny with little poop on the booty. But because I was using a heat transfer vinyl, I couldn't just iron it on. Otherwise, it would have been like very obvious that the thing was flat and the bunny was 3D. So I, that's why I had to do the bunny silhouette and then the name on top. As you can see, I was kind of trying to figure out how to put everything in the baskets. Y'all, I bought too much stuff. For the size baskets, I bought too much stuff. So what I decided to do was like the large gift for each child. I would put it in the bag, like alongside the Easter basket. And you'll see like I got, when I went to Dollar Tree, they didn't have the gift basket bags in clear. You'll see what I'm saying in a moment. So they had the really busy like Eastern pattern, which was fine because it's, it is Easter, but you can really see all my hard work at the end. So definitely need to go earlier next year. And here's that last basket that I mentioned again. It was different because it was the last, it was the last of the baskets. So there's a lot of pink baskets left, but not a lot of other like colors. So I wanted each kid to have their own color, and then I wanted Adrian to go separate from Sebastian. Here you can see the mess. Good thing I do these things in my office because it drives my husband crazy. It's a mess. You see that? The mess. Okay, guys, what do you think? I really hope these inspired you. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!